this is what we have for you today. An upgraded sway bar, upgraded sway bar mounts, upgraded sway bar bushings, and upgraded sway bar end links. If you remember, a couple of months ago, I made an awesome video installing some motor mounts in the Blue Miata. Some upgraded motor mounts to prevent the engine flexing under power, to improve shifting, and some other stuff. The company that made those motor mounts was AWR Racing. AWR saw that video, and they contacted me, and they're like, hey, do you want some more parts? And I, of course, said, Heck yeah. And so that's how we got here. Some cool things about the sway bar. It is adjustable. There are three different holes. Same thing with the inlinks. They are adjustable as well. And of course, these are the upgraded mounts. Upgraded mounts. This big black chunk of heavy metal. What what is what is the purpose of this? In case you didn't know, the mounts for a an Amiata front roll bar are kind of weak. And it turns out if you have an upgraded sway bar and lots of grip, you know, fast car, there's a good chance that you will rip those mounts straight in half. And this of course fixes it. I mean, instead of that really thin sheet metal, there is that really thick plate. Now, if you guys have had a stock Miata, you know that the sway bars are tiny. They're like twigs. It's like a filler rod for a welder. The rear sway bar, you can actually flex just by pushing it with your hands. Um, it's kind of embarrassing. But believe it or not, the rear sway bar doesn't need to be upgraded too much. If you upgrade a rear sway bar on a Miata, you tend to have a lot of oversteer and it kind of makes it touchy. Front sway bar, however, definitely does need to be upgraded. A lot of NA Miata owners upgrade to an NB Miata front sway bar, but of course, Bigger is better and adjustable is better. So that's why we have this. Sway bars do a couple of things. They increase steering response. They keep the car planted to the ground while going around a corner, prevent uh, some body roll. What this thing literally does is connect the left side suspension to the right side suspension. So it just makes the car handle better and feel stiffer. Now with that being said, it will probably make the car a little bit less enjoyable to ride on Chicago streets, but just don't live in Chicago and you're cool. Unfortunately, I live in Chicago. Let's just go ahead and install this thing. This right there is the stock sway bar. It looks like the mount for the radiator shares one bolt hole with the mount for the sway bar. So there might be a chance that we have to remove the radiator, which makes this a much more difficult process than I had hoped. But let's just go ahead and start by removing the sway bar. Damn, they're actually pretty big hails. It's not giant, but you know, it's not small. the shit out of me. The lightning flashed like five seconds ago. Holy shit. See, this is the problem with glasses. I have to push them up every two seconds. It's annoying, especially when I'm like, can we get the sway bar out with everything on? That's the question. Aha! You can get it off everything on. All right. Let's do a little comparison, shall we? Starting with the end link. This is the stock end link. It's just a little rubber bushing, as you can tell. Um, this is the aftermarket one. Like we said, it's adjustable. It's also like a heim joint, so there's no play in the end link. It's just a solid joint, and there's no bushing, so that's always nice. Now the bushing that mounts the sway bar to the, the metal mount. This is the stock one. If you take the rubber out, 
It's very squishy, so like, you know, you can just kind of squeeze it, you can flex it, it's just a soft piece of rubber. That's the aftermarket one. Not only is it gold, let's pretend it's gold, I know it's, it's zinc, but it's gold. The mount itself is much stiffer. A little bit of flex, but not too much. It's really just the perfect, perfect amount. And then of course, there is the difference between the sway bars. The new sway bar is slightly thicker. It's adjustable, so it has three holes at the end, so you can adjust how stiff the sway bar really is. The bends are a little bit smoother. The end tab is a little bit thicker, so I'm sure it's stronger, and yeah. It's easy access. Now you might be able to see, but there is a spot weld right there. So in order to get this mount off, you have to drill that spot weld out. Woo! All right, that one's loose. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grind down the little nub. Not pretty, but it will prevent rust. And when we do the engine swap, then we'll paint the engine bay. So here is the repaired little spots, undercoated in all, so we can put the new mounts on. This body right here is starting to rust because the grippy tires fling rocks all uh, like up here and they've started to actually wear the paint away and now it's rusting. It's just, it's so sad. I need to get a daily, but I can't afford all these damn cars. Setting up adjustable end links and an adjustable sway bar. I went and torqued everything down already. Just wasn't supposed to do that. Pretty much what you're supposed to do, you put the car on a level surface, compress the suspension, and then put the end links, adjust the end links so the bolts just go in without having to put preload on the sway bar. You don't want preload on your sway bar when you're just driving straight. Don't want that. Before we do all that, I'm gonna go ahead, put the radiator back in, and uh, get the cooling system set up. Thank you. 
a lot in <laughs> the last little bit. <laughs> What are you hiding in there, boy? Special tool. Ah. Let's see how this feels, yeah? 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 Now, to be fair, I've been driving the truck for a little bit the past couple days, so I'm not as used to how this car feels, but. For this video if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a like if you didn't please give it a dislike if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you want to support the channel please check out patreon in the description down below if you want some AWR products for your Miata or any of the other cars that they make products for check them out in the description you can get a discount code maybe I think but that's it peace out guys goodbye <laughs>